Well, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for our weekly interview with Andrew Fazekas, the night sky guy, astronomer extraordinaire. How are you today, Andrew? Well, good morning, guys. Doing well. Good, good. Now, we're just on the eve of a weekend, uh, a lot of high pressure across the country. What can people expect to see in the night sky? Well, you know, temperatures may be dipping, but the mercury is rising. <laughs> I had to say that. Sorry, guys. But <laughs> because we're, we're, we're going to see the innermost planet, Mercury, it's prime time viewing over the next week. And starting this weekend, it's, it's just going to be great in the early morning sky. So basically, early bird sky watchers can really try their hand at spotting the most elusive of all the naked eye planets. There's five that you can see with the unaided eye. And this is the most challenging, Mercury. And in the upcoming week, you're going to get a very good view in the eastern sky where the sun rises at dawn. So about a half hour before the sun rises, look towards the east. You've got to have a very clear view of the eastern horizon to see it. And then look for a faint star at, in, in the dawn skies. And you'll see it with the naked eye. And over the next few days, Mercury will be rising a little bit higher and making it easier to see. Um, and actually, on October 22nd, it reaches its highest point, which isn't very, very high at all, but it is the best chance to spot this little elusive planet. And if you look carefully just to the upper right of it, you'll notice Saturn in the sky as well. Now, what we have a chart here on, on the screen now is showing the position of all the planets uh, as they are right now, basically, over the next few days. And you'll notice the Sun is at the center, and then you have the orbit of Mercury, and then Venus and Earth. And you can see where Earth, where we are, Mercury and the Sun. And basically, from our vantage point here on Earth, Mercury is as far away from the Sun as it can get along its track and orbit around the Sun. So the next week is prime time viewing. Try not to miss it, because it's quite a sight. Hmm. Andrew, let's uh, continue talking about Mercury, and that kind of leads right into our cosmic quiz for this week. That's right. So our cosmic quiz this week is how long is a year on Mercury? Hmm. One year. It, could it be 55 days? Could it be 155 days? Or how about 255 days? Hmm, Emily? I, well, I have a sneaky suspicion, but I, I don't want it to be right because then you get old really fast, and that's just not cool. So, yeah, I'll, I'll guess. The answer coming up. Okay. Well, either way, you know, uh, it, it's a shorter orbit than the Earth, right? It's closer to the sun. So. Right, okay. Oh, okay, that's a hint. Okay. Just a little hint for okay. everybody at home. We'll have that answer in a second. Let's, uh, let's dive into space news and talk about our best buddy, Mercury. That's right. Well, Mercury got buzzed. You know, I mean, you can see it in the sky with the naked eye, right? But we actually sent a spacecraft that flew by Mercury just last week. It's called Messenger. It's a NASA spacecraft, and it took some spectacular photos in this really quick flyby. Now, it, the mission is actually going to go into orbit, this, this probe, uh, in 2011. But in the meantime, we got some real, a great taste of what the planet looks like. You can see a couple of the best shots that it took I chose here to show, show folks here. Uh, it's a beautiful, like, double crater that we can see here. That's this, I mean, this is, this is a 150-kilometer-wide crater. We've never seen this before. And what's really amazing is you can even see lava plains here on this picture. There's all these old, ancient lava plains uh, that indicates that this was a very geologically active planet at one point. Uh, in its history, and it's just an amazing sight. B and what's, what, what's really cool is that we've never seen any of this part of the planet. We've, before Messenger, we only uh, photographed 50% of the planet before. Now we've actually mapped the entire world uh, in the last, uh, last month or so. So it's, a, it's, a, it's the last reconnaissance of the inner solar system that we've just accomplished. Wow, that's really neat. That's really, really neat. Thanks for those pictures. Okay, time for the answer. How long is a year on Mercury? Well, the choices were 55 days, 155, and 255. And the answer is A. I knew it. 55 <laughs> days. <laughs> so if you want a lot of birthdays. Did you say that every week after he says <laughs> the answer? Mercury well, is the place. Maybe. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. You're going to get old a lot faster with 55 Very days. Very fast. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Okay, always a pleasure, Andrew. Thank you so much. Now, if you want to see any of the images that we showed today, all you have to do is go to Andrew's website, and that's thenightskyguy.com.
Now stay with us because we're going to let you know if you can see the stars in your area coming up uh, over the next couple of days. Andrew, thanks so much. Have a great weekend. He's gone. <laughs> stay with us. Little details coming up.